Ryan, it looked yesterday like you were using a, a new windup in the bullpen. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I just uh, went over my head, you know, uh, something that gives me rhythm and a uh, little bit of pace. Um, it allows me to get out in front a lot more. It's allowed my off speed to be a lot better and give me better location. Um, yeah, it's just overall helped everything. When did you start developing that? This off season, I just was trying to find something comfortable and something that could keep me staying on the back rubber. And I uh, went over my head and felt it, and I was like, all right, here we go. Let's just rock and roll. Anybody in particular kind of see something, help you with it? Or? Um, I just start, I just started video and watching a lot of video. I had a little tripod that I set up and I uh, watched myself throw, and it just looked a lot smoother. And I was like, all right, let's, let's do it. Uh, what, what's your goal this spring training being in this clubhouse, you know? Growing bullpens, obviously, uh, should have a chance to grow in spring training games. What's your goal? Yeah, just be around, um, being around all these guys, you know, just pick their brains, ask questions. You know, I know where I want to be back, and uh, these guys have done it for a long time, so just pick their brains, figure out what I need to do better, and uh, just go out there and have fun and compete. You've been in this clubhouse before. Anybody in particular, you know, that you go to for guidance, for advice, to, to pick their brain on stuff? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, I'm trying to spin the ball better, so I talk to, you know, Joe a lot. You know, he spins ball you know, some of the best in all of baseball. So uh, just talking to him a lot, figuring out how to spin the baseball and manipulate it a little bit, and uh, so far it's working out pretty well. To you, what are the keys in, in improving the way you spin it? Uh, just trusting it, being confident in it, and, uh, you know, I have you know I have a good slider. Just trust it and be uh, be confident in it. What else have you learned from Joe? Obviously, he's a leader on this team, going to be here for a long time. Yeah. What have you learned from him? Just go out there and compete, compete in the zone. You know, at the end of the day, you know, all you got to do is throw up zeros and uh, get out. So just go out there and compete. Uh, keep your head on a swivel, uh, be into the game, and, you know, just have fun and compete. You've been at AAA quite a bit the last year. you pitched in some of these new rules. Your thoughts on, on some of the new rules that are coming? Yeah, uh, some of it's tough. You know, the step off is tough. You know, the time clock, you know, I've, I work fast, so the time clock, you know, was never really an issue with me. It actually, I actually enjoyed having it. Um, but the step off is definitely different. It's something to get used to. What did you enjoy about the pitch clock in particular? Just get ready to rock and roll. You know, I'm, I, like I said, I work quick, so I'm like, you got to get in the box. You know, you're on my time now, so, you know, it's a lot of fun. Did you feel like you caught hitters off guard at times with it? Uh, you know, they got to be ready eight seconds. You know, sometimes at eight seconds, you know, I'm starting my wind up and rise their turn in their head. So, uh, yeah, probably sometimes, yeah. What about the disengagement rules? Like, was that a, a big adjustment? Was it not? Yeah, it's definitely it's a big adjustment. You know, you have to be ready. You know, even if you're a catcher and you're not on the same page, you know, that one disengagement out of the stretch, you know, even on, and on the rubber in the windup, you know, if you have a disengagement with time running out, it's a ball. You don't want to start to count 1-0 or 2-1 or anything like that. Um, so just making sure you and your catcher are on the same page, that's kind of the big emphasis. And you can't just step off and regroup like that counts as one disengagement. So just being on the same page is really important. Here you get a, an opportunity to work with Ruben Yegla. You've worked with him before. What, what's your relationship like with Ruben? Uh, really good. You know, he's helped me a lot. He's helped me with my changeup, slider, fastball, you know, kind of my whole pitch arsenal right now. And, you know, it took me about a year, but now everything's starting to kind of click a little bit. You know, my stuff's, you know, going up a little bit.